guys, Hanny here. So for today's video, I'm going to be telling you why I got rabbits and hamsters, which I'll show you. Hamsters, Spark, Octavia, and Ginger. This one's my sister's. Um, yeah. They obviously are Syrians, so they live in separate cages. So they're all big cages. So, yeah, I'm going to be talking about why I got them and why I recommend them as pets. So. I'll be talking about why rabbits are good pets. They are really good for people who want to get dogs, I guess, because they kind of are like dogs, just more different care. They don't, like, play fetch or, like, they don't have raw meat. That's really bad for them. Sorry for the background noise. Um, so, I also recommend them because they have a simple diet, hay, and vegetables, you can add p pallets, but, um, like, you can, but, um, it's your decision with your vet, of course, because, um, of you guys won't want to feed your rabbits pallets so they also are cute but do not like to be handled so for people who don't like to handle pets have a lot of reptiles i guess these are great pets because they don't they don't like to be handled at all so let's go talk about why hamsters are good, good pets for young people, like uh, five or six people, um, they're really easy to take of. Their diets include just a normal pet store hamster food that has a, a nice amount of protein, water, of course, same with the rabbits, I forgot to say that, um, and they should not be kept together if they are Syrians need toys and don't need that much like don't need that much like i don't know what to call it they don't need that much like space even though they do like they don't need as much as rabbits do because as you can see they this is just you know where they get locked in at night but yeah but they don't need that big of a space. Fit, uh, number a lot, cause I lost track, um, is that they are cute, same with the rabbits. So I know this was a kind of short video, but I hope you enjoyed. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!